terrifying. Boom! Running into all of them. Dodging it. Oh my god. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Calamity Summoner episode. So I had a weird interaction when I launched up my T-Mod loader. I updated Calamity because I thought there was an update. And I came into my world and like a bunch of the Draydon and laboratory things were all pink. Like this right here was just a giant pink square. Uh, up here, all the walls were pink. And I was like, what the hell is going on? I thought I updated, not downgraded. Silly Calamity, right? turns out there wasn't even an update that came out today so i don't know if one of their devs like threw out an update early that wasn't supposed to come out because i know they're working on updating like textures and stuff for the lab like i know the turret is supposed to be like a actual turret and not like a block that shoots lasers but i don't know weird stuff happening it's all good but yeah we're gonna start this episode off here i by the way i i downgraded back to the version i had that's why everything's fixed but yeah let's start off this episode by making a certain item here do i have aerial light how much aerial light do i have six i might need a little bit more let's make like 20 okay uh we're trying to make something called the star swallower containment unit yes sir so we need meteorite air light dubious plating mysterious circuitry i could just got the meteorite from this island right here there's still a bunch of more chunks everywhere but i don't know if this island actually had meteorite on it or if a meteorite crash and landed on it uh, i also got a bunch of silver from this island shout out these uh planetoids not islands these planetoids because they get they got some goodies on them but yeah let us make that i don't know why i didn't craft it before i closed the thing but there you go boom but first a word from our sponsor the year is 2020 we have replaced our giant flip phones with slim and advanced smartphones but for some reason we still carry around giant pieces of leather filled with garbage in our pockets why carry that around when you can carry the ridge wallet it's light sleek and industrial plus it doesn't have to fold or awkwardly bulge out of your pockets the ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash there's over 30 styles and colors including carbon fiber and my personal favorite, Burnt Titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty thanks to the durable material it's made out of, meaning you can buy one wallet and carry it your whole life. The team behind Ridge Wallets is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. If all of that wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 30,000 plus 5 star reviews. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders. The link will be in the description and comments section below back to the video star swallower containment unit it does 30 summon damage small novelties created to easily transport and fire plasma strangely popular with humans summons a biomechanical frog that vomits plasma on enemies deals more damage against enemies with high defense Ooh, i had some people telling me this happens a lot with uh, weapons that are like this you know people told me that the blade staff from 1.4 sucks because they don't know how it works a lot of people were tell or some people were telling me that the star swallower sucks because they don't know how it works it's used for defense shredding just like the blade staff is so now i understand why people were saying this thing sucks who doesn't like biomechanical frogs look at these things they look hilarious so yeah we find high defense enemies they're getting shredded i feel like this may be the uh perfect summons for skeletron when we get there uh what, what are we on right now old one's army okay we might do that this episode queen b oh we gotta fight the queen b and get her armor i forgot about that okay keep that in mind but the first thing i'm gonna do and this is probably gonna be a bunch of off-camera work i'm about to do i want to find the dog summon the evil dog summon so i'm gonna go do that so i i can't wait it finally happened i found it oh my god look how much there you go look how much i explored this is too much nobody goes through all the ice caves like this unless you're specifically looking for some icy gear but we have found it this better be it yes sir tundra leash summons an angry dog mount yes that's what i've been looking for all my life an angry dog mount yeah there you go let me uh get some nice lights here i don't even need to be down here anymore i'm just i'm leaving I feel like it's always nighttime when I come above ground. And I was down there for a minute. So I thought nighttime would pass at least like two times. But yeah, let's see that angry dog mouth. Boom. Oh, you hear that? Terrifying. And let's see him in action here. I feel like his animation speed doesn't really match his movement speed. But that's fine. It doesn't need to. Is that all he does? I think that's all he does. You are riding an angry dog. All right. So one thing I want to do here is I kind of want to make a bundle of balloons. I believe Calamity and another mod allows us to craft all the bottles that we need here. We already have the Blizzard in a bottle. Actually, I think I had like two or three before I sold all of them. Thanks to all the exploring we did over here and all the chests we found. But yeah, let's go ahead. 
let's make these bottles and we'll turn them into balloons and then we'll go from there i should finish exploring to the left over here uh just to see everything else and make sure you know if i can get a free balloon make sure i get my hands on that before i start crafting them okay i have no idea what i found right here it looks really cool though and i don't think this is from calamity let's see what it's from okay it didn't drop anything that's a little upsetting i'm not gonna lie i thought we found something cool i guess not whoa okay okay this is still pretty cool <laughs> I can't lie. I believe all these structures we're seeing are from uh, you use microstructure mod, which is a great Terraria mod. I love when mods, even Calamity, even Modern Redemption, how they add in those laboratories or just add in structures in general. I just love structures, even if it's not even Terraria. I love seeing structures in like Minecraft too. It makes it feel like the world is alive or the world was alive before you started playing. And that little bit of life gives it a better feel. But what's in this chest? Probably nothing crazy. We're getting these scrolls which i've gotten in the past in like different videos and streams that i've done but it is from the used microstructure mod reveals a nearby portion of the mini map that's not that bad it's not that bad so if i like come down here and then reveal stuff we may be able to see a sword shrine shit this would have been useful a second ago when i was looking for the angry dog but yeah let's go ahead let's loot this chest real quick and let's see if it's a balloon is it worth it coming up here yes sir all right so i'm setting up for the old one's army and a blood wound came and some enemy from calamity it looked like another dog type enemy dropped an adhesive bandage that enemy right there i think is this one pitbull mr worldwide it might have been him i don't know unless it was another enemy i didn't see but uh that's interesting that there's a lot of calamity drops that are hard mode items i mean i guess it would be useful if you're playing the higher difficulties but i'm not so i don't know all right due to popular demand as in like one or two people spamming it every episode we have the summoner association mod instead of the widget mod now and uh we will craft the stuff from this why not i have an extra mirror i don't think we need this do we because doesn't it say it right here yeah four out of four minions zero out of one century i, I don't know if we need this i, I crafted anyways but yeah let's take on the old one's army where the hell are my attorney of crystals at though i have no idea honestly if we could take it on i'm gonna try my best though uh as always i'm always trying my best kind of but let's get to it i don't know what i need here that's about it i don't think i need to use a summoner potion for this I, do i even have a summoner potion you know what what am i talking about i could get a summoner potion let's just go buy one for my girl over here my girl alice the brewer is that her name it was look at that see i remember names here give me some summoner potions how many oh almost a gold just to buy some okay so here we are we're at the old ones army arena i don't know what summons are gonna be the best let's let's rock a combo here let's do two scab rippers actually i got an idea let's do two belladonnas two mystic feeders and then whatever extras i have we'll, we'll figure that out as in now uh we'll do a scab ripper all right on the right we're gonna put a flame burst to the right and then we'll take care of the left okay i guess not i don't know where my other summons are wait no they're here they're here good job boys now we're going over here the old ones army this is a uh, definitely something that gives me anxiety it's just a scary invasion okay it's, it's really scary it's just there's too much going on especially once you get into the later phases and i think i'm scarred from playing master mode old ones army because that that shit is no joke so the goal or the the strat i usually like to do is place all turrets on one side most of the time and then worry about the other side so that's what i'm gonna do actually we'll place three turrets over there and then our next turret we'll place over here because you know you want some support on the other side every now and then. i'm gonna hop on the dog here because because we can just like run into enemies at like hyper speeds and just like boom run into all of them i don't know if it's worth losing the health but it's funny okay we got the dark mage i'm pretty sure he spawned on the left i'm checking over here because look look right there get him boys thank you and then we're coming back over here to kill the dark mage kill the dark mage please faster 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 our thing's getting attacked by fucking wyverns Okay, I can honestly lose this. No cap. I can honestly lose this. It's the damn wyverns that are making things harder. And also, the damn dark mage spawned on this side. We should be good after this kill, though. We should be good. Yes, sir? Complete? Okay, complete. Well, there you go. Old One's Army wave one done that it got a little scary at the end just because the dark mage spawned on the side where i had less ballistas or less uh flame bursts and then the the flame bursts they have a little trouble with the wyverns so that's where like ballistas and stuff will come in handy but yeah there you go there's that i will farm that in the future some more for now it doesn't matter we can use the flame burst outside of the event which means that it's time to take on the queen bee i believe so let's go do this i didn't even use these potions that's a good thing because i can use it on the queen bee now here we are 
we are in the jungle. I spent way too long making this arena. Uh, it's because I didn't want to break the hive. I should have just covered the hive up. But you never know when a projectile will fly over there and break it. The larva, not the hive. I don't know why I said hive. But yeah, let's put everything on here. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, we're gonna rock. Shoot, what the hell are we gonna rock? The mystic feeders, they see always seem like a must because they're pretty damn good. Probably some... I don't know if we should rock the scab rippers. Let's do a belladonna, a scab ripper. And then after we buff... We can spawn in the frog. I feel like the frog might be a good one. So let's get all my potions here. Buff up. Summon in the frog. Do that. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All eyes on the queen, everybody. All eyes on the queen. This should this should go good. We have a wide variety of summons. Like, it, honestly, this should be a nice, clean fight. Unless I just get stuck on her or something. Hey, one thing about 1.4 Queen Bee is that you can see her projectiles way more easily. Which is a very nice thing. Because I cannot see them at all right now during this fight. So props to that change in 1.4. Yeah. We should be good if any summon is not really helping. It's looking like the blood crawler isn't really doing much. So I'm gonna summon in an extra feeder. Make sure we got five out of five minions, yes sir. And everything should go good. And maybe I should just do all feeders, honestly. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like having the frog in here to help lower defense is not bad. As we can see, it procs it every now and then. The only thing about the frog is it shoots a lot of projectiles upwards. But that's like kind of good at the same time because it keeps on hitting the queen bee accidentally. Or maybe on purpose because uh, I don't know the the weirdness of how it shoots that pattern is kind of working out it's so random not even the boss can dodge it but yeah let's watch out now i'm starting to take some damage because i cannot see projectiles at all so we got to be a little bit more careful somehow i dodged every single projectile right there again dodging it oh my god these dodges are clean you guys got to give me a like for that one we got no like goal on this episode but just give me a like for that one that was like three good dodges in a row and then i get hit by the easiest part the fucking dash attack <laughs> It's still a clean dodge on those uh, stingers. Okay, I don't know about now. She's getting a little rowdy. But there you go. Queen Bee defeated. I love that she died in the wall. Shout out my summons for killing her in the wall. There you go. I got everything. Including the lore. Let me grab my heart lantern and then I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, let's read the lore. Favorite this item to make small bees and weak hornets friendly. That, that's not bad. There's no downside to it either. Yeah, I'll hold that in my inventory. The only thing I don't like about favoriting these things and keeping them in my inventory is that you have to favor them and keep them in your inventory. So you kind of run out of inventory low key. Like imagine just having like fucking 10 spots of lower filling up your inventory okay what else do we need to look at here probably open the treasure bag itself what is that hardened honeycomb wow <laughs> um what else did we get we got bean aids can't really use those obviously uh we got the bee wax which this is what we need to make the hornet armor or the bee armor and i don't know if calamity changes this or not maybe it does because i know calamity does have a good bit of a vanilla changes but are we able to craft this 22 Ooh, 30 we're barely off that sucks it's, it's all good we could fight another queen bee easily now that we have honey let's speak about honey let's talk about today's sponsors see now nah, honey didn't sponsor me but that would have been a perfect segue wouldn't it but yeah uh other than that looking good looking good so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up an above ground arena since queen bee doesn't get mad in a 1.3 at least i don't think i know she enrages on the surface in 1.4 i don't even know if she enrages she's just fast as fuck so that's pretty much enraging but yeah i'll set up up an arena over here and then we'll fight her above ground so i can make this b armor okay before anyone types anything it's too late I, people already type something i know my armor was off it happens all the time this is the second time it's happened okay not all the time second time it's happened the only reason my armor was off is because i didn't want anything breaking the hive and i just completely forgot to put it on it doesn't matter we killed the queen bee but let's do it we're gonna fight her out here Ooh, probably should have summoned everything in first before i summon her it's all good all right get her ass boys it should be way easier since we are outside so just naturally should be easier it's 10 times the amount of room to move so this should be a nice chill fight i might get rid of the frog maybe i don't know i feel like the frog isn't doing anything out here it might be too uh open so let's get rid of the frog and let's get another mystic vial feeder and that should be one belladonna and then just a bunch of vial feeders so we should be chilling i will summon in the flame burst every now and then because that resets the attack every time uh, much like the ballista rod so it's very nice the only thing is that this projectile is like 10 times slower 
so I kind of want to get my hands on a Ballista Rod. This fight definitely feels faster. The Valkyrie might be helping a little bit. The Valkyrie from my armor. But having on my whole entire armor set might be helping a bit. See, when the Queen Bee stands still like this, you know, it makes life 10 times easier. Because she just gets a barrage. Okay, I cannot see the fucking projectiles at all out here. It's even worse out here than it was in there. Somehow did not get hit a single time, though. Oh, now get hit by the dash the dash is the easiest part why do i always get hit by it but this fight should be over yes sir okay let me make sure snag my heart lantern see at least i'm remembering that may forget the armor but i remember the heart lantern but boom pop that open there's probably not gonna be anything too crazy actually we did get a bee mount doesn't really matter now but we did get one that's cool we got the honeycomb which is actually not too bad either and everything else we can pretty much sell because obviously i'm not gonna use it uh we got a bee cap again or bee hat again no value. Now, one thing about 1.4 is a lot of things that don't have a value, they add a value too. I don't know why there's even things that don't have a value in 1.3. Who knows? All right, B wax. We should be able to make the hornet armor now. Hold up. I put two of these like packs in here. I don't need two high packs. We should be able to make the B armor. I wonder how much better it is. See, the, the guide on the Calamity Wiki says that you should rock the armor, but how much better is it? Like, I just got aerial light. Is it really that much better? Let's see. Our defense is 23. We put this on. We lost defense okay uh summon damage 21 okay we gain summon damage which it's not a lot of summon damage I, I don't know what's the set bonus of the b thing again do we just get like a fuck ton of more minions i think we get a lot more minions don't we we get increase your max number of minions okay that's it there and then the helmet increase your max number of minions and then we got this which is plus one max minions so we should have four minions for some reason i have six i don't know where the numbers went wrong there but for some reason, I feel like I have way more minions than I should. Where's that like? I made a fucking a thing from the Summoner's Association. And I don't know where it's at. It was a rod of some sort. There it is. I don't know why I put that away. Minion control rod. So it says, left click to help all your minions to the cursor. Boom. That's not that bad at all. It even teleports the little accessory minions. Uh, right click an enemy to target it or right click somewhere else to spawn a reticle your minions will attack. That's pretty cool. I like that. So if I wanted to kill that worm, I like that. Now, isn't there something that you could like de-summon all your minions with? Uh, let, let's look at more recipes from Summoners Association. Here we go. So we got like books here. Is it this one? What's the easiest one to craft? This one. Uses two mana. Right click to open the UI. Left, left slash right click on the item icon to select it. Left click to use a selected item what the fuck does any of that mean and then we got the upgraded book left click to some minions based on history right click to open ui scroll wheel over the item icon suggests a summon count and then we got the last one left click to summon minion based on history right click to open the ui scroll wheel you know whatever automatically summons minions when you respawn wow very very interesting there's also this thing blood talisman i remember summoners association is a really really old mod because i remember using it way back in the day and the blood talisman was strong as hell because you sacrifice your own health just to make your minions do like a million damage so it's really cool yeah you guys let me know it's probably better to rock this set the b set uh i, I really don't know why i have more minions than i should if i'm being honest <laughs> Like, I feel like the numbers aren't adding up here. Unless Calamity made it so that each increase your max number of minions is two. That's the only the only way I can see. So this is giving me two. This is giving me two. We have four. And then we got the accessory here. Gives me one, five. And then we got the natural one minion we can summon in, which is six. So, like, I could have six froggies. Look at this. Look at them jump around. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's going to end off this episode. If you guys didn't see my tweet or see my community posts or my Discord posts, follow one of those. Follow my Twitter, join my Discord or something if you didn't see the post. But I am going on a little mini vacation starting on October 16th uh, to celebrate a bunch of my friends' birthdays. And before you ask, yes, me and all my friends, we did get COVID tested because we're responsible like that. If we're going to spend a bunch of time together where we're going, you know, we got to get tested. It only makes sense. You got to be responsible about these things yeah so th if there's a time where videos are slowing down like right now it's because i'm getting ready for that little mini vacation but yeah thank you guys for watching twitch.tv slash gamers 101 leave your more tips and stuff in the comments so i can read them Bye bye